Okay, so there's this new product out. It's called Fast 2K. I think there's a few different varieties. This is the one I chose uh, to do my fence. And we've done uh, 17 posts so far, and it's working pretty good. So anyway, it's just a foam fill. Instead of using concrete, you use a foam. It's kind of a two-part epoxy. You mix it together for about 30 minutes or 30 seconds, I'm sorry. And then you pour it in the hole, and it forms up in like two to three minutes. Um, it just starts getting really hard and uh, it's actually working out pretty well. But what I've done here uh, real quickly is I, I've actually took a post out of the ground uh, to show you guys kind of what it looks like um, after you pour it in there, after it sets. I did this post yesterday. Um, I'd like to say I kind of planned this, but I didn't. I put the post in wrong. It wasn't in line, so we ended up having to take it out. So, but this is a good opportunity to kind of show you what it looks like around the post and if you have to change these out um, it's going to be very easy so anyway here, here's what it looks like on your post it's it's on there it's not coming off it's hard as a rock um, well i guess you can push it in a little bit uh, but it really wasn't very hard to get it out now obviously one of the one of the benefits that i see right now of using this product is if you do have to replace a post um, it's just not very heavy. Uh, concrete is really heavy. Um, and then we're going to end up just cutting this off the post and we can just throw this right in our dumpster uh, instead of having, you know, big old chunks of concrete trying to figure out what to do with that. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off this post. We're going to reset it. We're going to kind of show you guys how this foam works and we'll go from there. Paleo fish. <laughs> you can see that stuff's pretty hard. Yeah, it's not it very heavy or nothing, it's just hard. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get it off the post uh, and we can just throw those away. Now, obviously, if you're changing your post because it's rotted out, you really wouldn't have to take it off. Uh, just kind of wanted to show you what you could do with it if you do set a post wrong like I did. So now let's do it the right way. All right, so this is how we're actually setting this post. This is how I've done all these. I'm using a two by four as a brace and uh, we've already got level um, up and down we just need to level it this way and uh, this will help us do that uh, keep it level uh, front to back so he's gonna hold it and I'm gonna pour that pour this stuff in here um, by doing it this way you can actually make it a one-person job I did all these uh, yesterday by myself um, it's pretty it's a pretty good way of doing it but we're gonna have him hold that real quick and uh, we're gonna just pour this in there we'll see what happens now this hole here is pretty reamed out right now because we ended up having to dig the post out. So we'll show this one and we'll also show another one where it's not so reamed out. I'm not really sure how this one, I'm not sure it's gonna fill all the way up because it's such a big hole now, uh, but we'll see. So this particular brand, it has this uh, little piece in here that's keeping these two separate. We're just gonna pop it real quick and we're gonna mix this together for 30 seconds and we're gonna pour it in the hole. start to feel it getting warm a little bit so it's time to go and we're going to cut it and pour it out ah the piece is in there mm, it's all right
So you can see that one didn't quite make it to the top, but that hole was pretty, pretty big around. I'll show you some of the other ones. That one made it pretty close to the top. That one definitely did. So you can definitely tell which holes I dug by hand. These I dug by hand and uh, those we used a uh, post hole digger but we still had to kind of ream them out a little bit so the holes are a little bit bigger and uh, not quite getting all the way to the top but it's filling up a good amount of hole so I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay so this is how I was doing it by myself just to kind of show you guys how, uh, how you could do it by yourself. So you got the two by four going down here and you got uh, some clamps clamp it up there that will get you going get you level straight to front to back if you need to kind of kick it out you can just kick this out a little bit and kind of adjust it that way and then I just grabbed this other old board that I had laying around to keep it from going side to side so right now it is perfectly level I can mix up my my stuff and I can pour it in so this one here is a different brand. We got the other brand at Menards. This one we got at Lowe's. This is called a Sika uh, post fill. And uh, I think you just kind of, well, this was a little bit different because it didn't have that piece right here, but somehow this has to join together. So I think you kind of roll it, to kind of bust it, just yep. like that. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Grab that knife. Set that over there. I can tell you this one gets warm, warmer a lot faster. It sounds yeah, like it's it mixed up a lot quicker. It's actually pretty hot right now. That's actually pretty close to ground level. This is all built up because we dug the post. Ground level is somewhere right around right here, I believe. And we're at two minutes now. I actually think I like that brand a little bit better. It didn't take very long to mix at all. Uh, we went in there nice and smooth and uh, just seemed to work a little bit better. Hard. That's yeah, still just a little tacky. Sticky. It's not coming off on your finger though, is it? Nope. A little sticky. What's that, about two and a half minutes? Yep. Yep. So the one we set, what was, what would you say, about 15 minutes ago? Yeah, if that. 10, 15 minutes, something like that. It's already pretty hard. It just doesn't take very long. So obviously the biggest benefit of this is you don't have to wait like a whole day for your concrete to dry to start putting up your post. You can literally do it in 15 to 30 minutes. After you get kind of a row done, you could, I mean, we could run right back and start putting stringers on because it's already hardened up. I think it says it takes about uh, 15 minutes to actually kind of set up and then just a few hours for it to 100% cure. But once it's set up, you can go ahead and put your post on there or your stringers on there and go ahead and do all that because it's, it's already pretty hard. It's not going to move. Um, so obviously that's the biggest benefit of using the foam versus the concrete. So my overall opinion, it actually works pretty well. I think the concrete might just be a tad bit harder inside there. And, uh, but the foam, uh, it, it does really well. It's a lot easier to work with. I think removal, all that kind of stuff is gonna be a lot easier uh, than the concrete. And it's a lot better than dragging a hose around and getting all dirty, muddy and all that kind of stuff. And obviously the wait time for the, uh, for the foam is definitely a benefit. 
So one thing you might be asking yourself is what do you do with all the excess that comes out of the hole? So we're going to use the same technique as we did as cutting one, uh, cutting the foam off the post. We're just going to use our Sawzall and you can use a hand saw or whatever you want and we just cut it down to the ground. Just like that, and now you can just you can backfill and you're good to go. Like that.